It's a beautiful start. So I just want you guys to break down. Let's get into the concrete real quick. Yeah. You know, this is what creates the character. This is what gives you the resilience. Did you spend time shining your diamond or mm-hmm. were you just like, I got a diamond, I'm done? Yeah. You know, okay. um, so yeah. I'm going to start here. Uh, word. There's a lot of broken families out here. There's a lot of families that are together. So what resources are you using from your past, your future, and has anyone ever accomplished this within your your lineage, you know, mm-hmm. like your, your family's um, uh, past? So I'll start once again, going from the left to the right, and uh, yep. let's go. Uh, so, are your families still together, your moms, yeah, so, you know, pops? Um, from Toledo, Ohio. Yes. Um, broken family. Mm-hmm. You know, me and yeah, ATG, I know. our cousins, you know, we come from. You see this face? <laughs> <laughs> um, my mom, you know, single mom, my mm-hmm. dad in and out of prison. Mm-hmm. Later on, uh, me pro- playing professional ball, mm-hmm. starting on my career to professional ball. I never played b- basketball in high school, it was just dropped on me. You never played in high school? No. I started See, that's playing. something new. I, I, I'm finding out new stuff, too. So never I started played. playing at 19. Crazy. Moved to D.C., met Big Jerk. He was my bunkie. Yep, yep Big Jerk. <laughs> Went to prep school. You know, I, I saved yeah. up all my money, hustled, got everything I could do, sold my car, left Toledo because of my cousin told me to just leave because it was no – I wanted to be a rapper. Six ten, six eleven. You can't. Yeah. You know what I mean. It was yeah. easier to just pick the ball up and just try it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. So that was my. I'm always testing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So yeah. I was like, let me just. It was a risk. Mm-hmm. Never left my city, and I just left and um made it. Just it was tough playing ball with not knowing anything about it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. But all of that, that work, that sweating them tears and everything and Helped me meet so many different people. Mm-hmm. Um, I, my my pops got killed, so that during right when I turned pro, mm-hmm. so it kind of like was like, damn, like what's here? You know what I'm saying? There's nothing. What what is what is what is this about? Yeah. How can I change my family's trajectory financially to not keep enduring this pain that yeah. we keep going through? Yeah. death and prison and everything else so um and my pops was like bro you got whatever you you can do it this is what he told me and i was like bet you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. i kept at it i didn't quit it because i was gonna quit going overseas teams jerking you around and um i fast forward to played in japan got hurt mm-hmm. and that's where the light clicked on to me was when the teams didn't show that same love as the love I got when I was blocking 10 shots, yeah. scoring 30, 10 mm-hmm. rebounds. Once I got hurt, it was like, who are you? Yeah, You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, wow, yeah. I really need to that security down and not- figure out what am I going to do when mm-hmm. basketball ends. I, I still I, I recovered, and I still played for a number of years, but – was like, let me figure something out. And it was it was the internet. Yeah. Started blogging, doing it for free because I was making basketball money. So yeah. it was like, let me just, let me keep this. Test let me the see, what it is. see what this goes. Google, Google was paying people. Yeah. Once I got my first Google payment, it was like 50 bucks. I was like, yo, they paying people for, for the air. You know what I mean? It's thin I air. paid for Google. I'm out here jumping <laughs> 10 feet out the air. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And I can just press my thumbs and make $50. Tough. So I just kept at it, kept getting books, um, started my own store, mm-hmm. got books, books called Words That Sell, mm-hmm. and learned how to actually sell mm-hmm. and learn the psychology of selling. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. To where I was already building an Instagram account. Yeah. So I just was building it, building it, and um, I would say it was a breakthrough when everything hit the fan. Like I was like, "Damn, I'll go back overseas" because I was like, I was broke. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. All I depended on was basketball. Mm-hmm. So when it hit the fan, I was like, "Yo, can 
when I go overseas, but I just one more risk, mm -hmm. risked it. Started a dog training business mm. in Atlanta. That worked. Mm -hmm. Turned that to six figures. I said, Dude, I could do anything I want to do in my life. Because I did basketball. Yeah. And as hard as basketball was, yeah. I said, yo, this is this is this is child's play. Yeah. So I just used everything I used and then boom, it still wasn't enough. Yeah. So I, I told my my girlfriend, which is my wife now, you stay here. Let me let me learn, let me get back to this internet. Yeah. Cause look with this, you got this, you can run this. Got to the e commerce, put all my time in that, blew it up, and I was like, yo, I gotta put my people on. Yeah. My yeah. circle. Yeah. Hooping. Came to Atlanta. I came to Atlanta with a thousand dollars. With a G. With a G. <laughs> I already had paid the apartment the place and I was like, I'm gonna make it work. Yeah. It was the same thing I did when I left Toledo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I could do this. Yeah. I just got to do it. Yeah. And boom, met him, met Courtside. We linked up. Fast forward, when he retired, and we got, we. Now it's the dynamic. We goal. did numbers. <laughs> yeah. Boom, I told him. He was up in D.C. still. I yeah, was like, yeah, yo, yeah. I could help you. Yeah. Be free. We could be free. Yeah. And we could live how we want to live yeah. without nobody over us saying, be here this time, this, this, you're going to get cut. Mm. Oh, your ankle fat, I don't care. Still mm. jump high. Mm. And that's what was my breaking point. I was like, I'm done with this. Yeah. It's no more. Yeah. And I I mean, once I made more money than I played basketball. Yeah, it didn't even make in, sense to In me. a month. <laughs> like, it ain't no more. In a month. What's basketball? Yeah. It, it wasn't fun. It was fun, but it wasn't fun business-wise. Yeah. Right? And I understood business and as I learn more and more, it's like, okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to be that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be the owner. Yeah. And that's really what, that's how it came out, man. It was just, it's a journey and it's not stopping. It's staying disciplined, yeah. being consistent, and linking up with other solid Networking. individuals that's yeah. going to bring that food to the table that tastes good. Word. You know what I'm saying? And Facts. Facts. We all overstunned it, and that's how we. That's why we're here today. Yeah. Oh, that's good, man. Uh, that, of course, 